很好。嗯、um, uh, 大家好，呃、uh, ，我是李阳，呃、uh, ，So my name is Li Yang. And today, I will talk about the contributor experience. In Slack, Twitter, and in GitHub, my ID is IDL UHSCK. I deal hack, so I got in given a、uh, god. To know Kubernetes a few years back, and then I joined Kubernetes community in 2018, and I mostly contributed in release, also contributor experience testing and docs. Basically, I did this uh, uh, in my free time. Before I start, I just want to ask. Who of you use Kubernetes? During work, okay. Who opened issues or pull request in uh, or pull request? Okay, cool. So you must know these two robots. One is the for PR. The other is、uh, for issue, right? The K8S CI robot and the Feta robot. So, who participated、uh, the contributor summit before? Okay. Hope you can join the next one. Who is already a member of、uh, Kubernetes or GitHub? Okay. So, let me introduce to you. The、uh, contributor experience team and what we do. Actually, we manage the Kubernetes and GitHub community, and we are the contributors helping contributors. And we have the milestone and project bots, and、uh, this is our way to manage the project. And we use a team approach. To manage, for example, issue and triage. And here, this marketing refers to the propaganda for the contributors, and also something about APAC, because now it's more like、uh, U.S. centralized, and we normally have our meetings with、uh, uh, in the U.S. time zone. And I hope that more Asian、uh, contributors can join. And also we have、uh, the GitHub and admin, and also the other administrators and YouTube administrators. We have ten sub projects, and today I will choose some of the key ones. First, the contributor doc. We have a full contributor guide and a. Simple checklist, and we already have the Chinese version. We have also the developer guide for the code contributors, and also for the non-code contributors, the contributors guide. And for the GitHub management project, because we are a big Open source project. We need to manage the reviewer and the approval time. So now we lack a lot of reviewers. So we need to manage their time quite well. And if you pull request before, maybe you know that、uh, after a few days still nobody responded, and. That is something that we cannot solve because a lot of contributors are quite busy, and we do the、uh, following things to change them. First, for the owners file, we have this like uh, uh, retirement uh, field because for the owners field. We use this to manage the、uh, the participant because we have this owner's file for each one, and we listed who can be the reviewer of this doc and who can 
approve the amendments and for some of the contributors as time goes by they will go someplace else and they will be assigned the review tasks so we need to manage them we need to manage the task so that the PH author can be replied to and then there are some relevant things github has this new function which is the status we can set it to busy and our automatic tool now supports that if you set it to busy then the bot will not assign you as a reviewer and then people with more time will review the PR and also for this area we would uh, do more automation and provide more tools and next I want to introduce to you about the automation so with the issue life cycle we would uh, manage the whole life cycle because for Kubernetes slash Kubernetes, that is the core code library, we have uh, thousands of uh, open issues and a thousand pull requests. We need to conduct lifecycle management for that. When an issue is open, nobody is paying attention, and if uh, over three years there's no update of the status, the bot will notify will, or will tag that as stale. If that's stale, then one month later nobody pays attention, then the issue will be closed. And of course, you can use reopen command to reopen this issue. The purpose of that is this, but while a lot of people hate the Fedabot, but uh, it is to guarantee that we can pay attention to the common issues in the community. And the next one is that we would uh, test the pull request if pull request is open and there are uh, the same revisions that are combined or integrated, then your pull request can have problems because it cannot combine uh, again. Then you use you need to use a rebase. Then the re needs rebase plugin will test the it will detect the status of the pull request and then remind you that you need to update and also we have this uh, needs to okay the test label the label because when we open a pull request we would do certain tests automatic tests then if it's a non-member contributor then we need another member to make sure that the test can run or the PR makes sense because if you run a whole lot of tests you need to consume a lot of time and money because uh, it's authentic test and the other thing is when you submit you can use close or fixes these kind of uh, uh, keywords to close certain issues but that will bring some issues for example for an issue when it's submitted it's not fixed fully then the issue can be reclosed because when you combine different branches sometimes the relevant issues gets closed so our suggestion is that you use you describe that in the description of the PR rather than submitting it and the other thing is that we added the slack welcome message so that the newcomers of slack can understand and then they won't add they won't have the issue where they don't know where to start and for GitHub, we also have 
the other automatic tools, we can use tools to uh, create repos. And now we already have 30 new repos and we can use GitHub to deal with all the member requests. For example, when you apply to join GitHub, and then you only need to change the configuration file in the repo rather than use the GitHub UI. And we can realize the uh, GitHub ops and also for the different sub projects websites. For example, some of the teams they have their own uh, sub projects. For example, they have like uh, KubeATM or Cluster API. Then every project needs to be introduced and then we would be in charge of all those and that is also automatic the next action or events well uh, yesterday we have this uh, contributor summit so for the current contributors we would uh, prepare the breakdown sessions and summits and of course all the people would participate and then for the new comers we prepare this uh, uh, morning afternoon session and if newcomers want to join you can join us because it can help you know where to start including codes or non-code contribution and also we have recordings in the previous sessions and in US and Europe we also have the contributor summit and the other thing is our director summit uh, the steering committee uh, it is in charge of all of the teams and the election is done with all of the contributors and we would organize that election and our sub projects also includes our Ricci Google summer summer of code and also the kubecom uh, speed mentoring the other important thing is meet our contributors and on YouTube every month we have this broadcast with uh, YouTube or Slack we can uh, conduct live interaction we have the existing contributor or the new contributors to talk about their experience working in the community and for the work in the community if you don't know where to start we have some substitutions or alternative options somebody can bring you for example uh, some releases or other activities we have some others to guide you and this is the new thing that we mentioned the meet our contributor these are the ways that you can uh, work with us we have a slack channel our chairs are MAEM Paris our tech leads include uh, CB Lacker and Nikita and our repo is shown here and you can join our mailing list we are going to have an APAC team as I've mentioned we've discovered that uh, APAC contributors actually only account for a small percentage in our community so we hope to identify more contributors in APAC region and help them so 
this is our meeting time. It is not uh, written here, but it's a Thursday. It's the day time in Thursday. So much from me. And uh, I'd like to leave more time for Q and A. Anyone who have uh, raised your hands before can put forward questions because uh, this is a maintainer track. That is, we want to attract the people who want to join the community. Please wait for the microphone because we need to record. I'd like to know that it is how many people are working in the team and how many of them come from China. You mean the uh, contributor experience team? Yes. Contributor experience team. I didn't mention at the very beginning that um, contributor experience team is uh, uh, you can participate in release, test, and uh, contributor experience. All uh, community <laughs> members can take part in it. In China, uh, dozens of people are in this team, but they can also work for other teams. For example, they uh, will use their free time to uh, do uh, to work for us. If I want to be a contributor, and uh, should I take a look to see where that I can start and then gradually familiarize with this or is there an official channel for me to contribute more rapidly? Well, you can directly uh, look at issues in our community report, for example, good first issue or help wanted. These are issues listed, or you can directly contact a flag channel saying that you are a newcomer, you, I come from China, I want to help you, then you, uh, you will be replied immediately, or if uh, uh, we're not in the time zone, um, the reply will not come that uh, immediately, but they will help you. The last question is, uh, I had a PR in our daily job. It's a normal thing. That is our design and our ideas uh, may be different from the opinion of a member. But then the PR actually was uh, shelved and then ignored. Is there a good mechanism uh, for this? For me, I just want to solve a problem in my daily job, and then I uh, put forward a PR. I can't uh, uh, spend all my time uh, trying to address this PR. So, but many times our contributions are in this way, and you will be blocked at early stage. It's not my problem or their problem. I think many people uh, face this situation, including my colleagues. So we'd like to know, is there an official mechanism to guide us? Well, this is a very good question. Indeed, uh, a lot of people uh, face this problem when they just started. I can share with you my experience. Before I joined uh, Kinetics uh, in my daily job, I may participate in an open project, and uh, uh, I may put forward a pull request while uh, solving this issue. You've mentioned that uh, uh, you've mentioned you've proposed a PR. Is there an issue, or you just directly? Uh, proposed a PR. Yeah, I just I just directly proposed a PR without quoting an issue. Well, the best way to solve this problem is um, with a PR and an issue to find more people to discuss how to fix this. You can discuss you can discuss via Slack or mailing list. 
These are two good channels. Uh, on GitHub, there are a lot of uh, notifications. There are a lot of uh, open issues, and we can't actually notice every one of them. So generally, the author of PR uh, need to take more initiative, or you can participate in the meeting of the relevant teams if there is enough time. OK, thank you. Hi. <coughs> I worked for localization of a Kubernetes uh, websites. Uh, I participated in six or customize uh, documentation localization. So when I read Kubernetes guidelines, I felt that uh, uh, we couldn't start. According to the guideline, in order to become a member, you needed two recommendations. But how can we do it? We can only talk to them via GitHub and uh, submitted PR. And Slack is the same. We have a CNDV and Kubernetes doc channel. But for a very long time, we haven't seen a lot of activities on these channels. And mail list is more active. Well, it's usually the English speaking, uh, English speakers talking to each other. And for me, um, when it comes to documentation, it's OK. But if I really want to take part in the development, I still need to talk to them. And uh, I'm willing to talk to Chinese speakers via Slack or other channels. We can directly talk in Chinese. It's more helpful to me if we can talk in Chinese. And also, when I translate, I found out a lot of uh, translation errors due to cultural differences. So the final development is uh, very different from PR. And then the PR actually is shelved. So although we don't have a lot of developers in China, they are developers in China. So is there a, a, a team that can talk to us in Chinese? Well, this is a very good question. First of all, well, uh, yes, we don't have a lot of uh, Chinese speaking uh, members. Uh, for documentation team, there are a lot of uh, Chinese contributors compared uh, to other teams. Yeah, I'm part of it. So you can talk to other Chinese contributors via Slack or WeChat. I believe they are member contributors. For example, you have a full PR if uh, uh, two to three uh, contributors have uh, reviewed your pull request, you can directly contact them, asking them to help you become a member. Well, my problem is uh, when it comes to documentation, it's OK. But when it comes to project development, why I attended KubaCon? Because I want to know more uh, developers like me so that uh, we can talk to each other and uh, make contributions. But now, I'm, I want to know, is there, a possible, is there a possible to set up a KS a contributor platform where we can talk uh, either via mailing list or Slack? 
But if you say something on Slack, you won't get a lot of answers. I did that before, but no response. I don't know which channel you're uh, talking about. If you say the official platform, well, contributor experience team is an official platform, and our APAC coordinator is a team just established. So welcome you to join us. So what you will talk about is the team, but what are the work of this team? So you have an APAC contributor team, but they are distributed in different projects, and they may uh, contribute to one project. But it's very embarrassing that uh, when I talk to uh, when I talk to people on GitHub, actually we are all Chinese, but we have to speak English, and uh, it actually prolonged length of discussion. In this case, you can suggest talking to them via Slack or other channels. On GitHub, I saw some uh, Chinese communication cases, we translate a document from English to Chinese, and you can use Chinese. If both the author and the reviewer speak Chinese, then they can directly talk to each other in uh, Chinese. Well, English is uh, just a common language um, for the platform so that everybody can understand. But I've seen communications conducted in Chinese. Okay. Any other questions? You can also share with me your contribution experience to other teams or the problems you've encountered. If no, then let me talk about the APAC coordinator team. The team will focus on several things. First, we will provide a training and some uh, events for contributors meet our contributors event uh, will also be held in APEC so that we can talk in Chinese. We can also have other meetups, for example, Shanghai, Hangzhou, or Beijing. We can identify potential uh, contributors. And also as to the, uh, if there is a need for file translation, we want to attract more Chinese speakers, and also communication channels, including Discuss and Slack. And lastly, contributor experience team used to have a meeting for APAC audience, but it was uh, suspended due to uh, insufficient attendance. And after the establishment of APAC coordinator, we will have a regular meeting. It's um, in the daytime on Thursdays, uh, every two weeks. You're all welcome to attend uh, so that uh, we can have more um, meetings in APAC according to Chinese time zone. Okay. Last question, anyone? Okay, uh, I'll leave it at that, thank you.